greatest racist on the internet, Pete R. Hello, you dirty minorities. It's been a while since I had myself a little video that I put out. So I figured I would talk today about embarrassing things I've seen in the last week. Now first, I would like to bring up a boy we all know as Turkish Tom, a.k.a. Tom Dark, a.k.a. Nicholas Diorio's coattail. He said something when he was talking about uh, the Sneeko situation that I found incredibly embarrassing. I think there's nothing wrong with doing a gay photo shoot. I oh, really, Timothy? You see absolutely nothing wrong with doing a gay photo shoot. Now, I'll play it a little longer so you think I'm not taking it out of context like it was some type of joke. This is really what Tom Dark said. You're gonna call me a soy boy when you're doing this shit, bro. Really? Like, I think there's nothing wrong with doing a gay photo shoot. I think there's nothing wrong with going to a, a cuckold party. Okay, I mean, the, the cuckold party is a little a little far. I may, I'm, I may think there's something wrong with that. But at the same time, like, I probably wouldn't care that he did it unless he was also this, like, right-wing kind of grifter type, right? Well, at least Timothy backtracked on the cuckold party. God forbid. But now we'll move on to somebody else who did something embarrassing. One of the most boring people on all of the internet, Radio Foreman. Beer make, well, beer makes me piss the bed, dude. When I get drunk off beer, I always piss the bed. Ooh, it'll make you not... Wow, so Radio Boreman, one of the most uninteresting people on all of the interwebs, admits that he pisses his bed when he drinks too much beer. Which, I mean, hey, I was a late bloomer myself and peed the bed way too late. Like, into my early 50s. So I totally get it. But still, very embarrassing. Trying to go the Winkler route, I see. There's something that Foreman did later in the stream, though, that was even more egregious. As if we're here to listen to his boring stories about how he likes this song, or how he likes this movie, or what got him into jerking off to fucking grapes, whatever his boring shtick is, he decided to instead of letting a fight go on and have the you know people in chat entertained he decided he was going to blast music to stop it if you drink liquor if you drink liquor every night for 20 years straight versus drink beer every night for 20 years straight i think the beer drinker is going to be maybe a little fatter but their organs aren't going to be as fucked up they're not going to be fucked up at all actually i think Most that likely. nobody's drinking every night but you are I don't drink every night. Sorry. I, I can't afford to do that, but nice try. I was just kidding. Right. I wasn't really, but I was kidding about kidding, but I was trying to. Well, you drink four nights a week. I don't do that. I drink two times a week. I only drink when I'm hanging out with Sarah. Okay. Well, I drink two times a week. I don't drink every night because I have things I have to do because I have a life. So, so no. I, I, have a, I do also. I have a job. Okay, well, I will. This, my friends, is a mortal sin. To interrupt the boomer blood sports like that and to play some boring ass fucking boomer garbage music like that, it's just completely disgusting. And Foreman should be chastised for this, maybe even beaten and never allowed on any streams ever again. Just truly inconceivable. 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 It's inconceivable. Inconceivable. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Well, anyways, if you guys like these this week in embarrassing, I guess I could keep doing it. But uh, other than that, I really have no idea for any content and no real plans to make any content. So... Have a good night and be good, y'all. Said fuck Jennies and fuck Juice and fuck all of these journalists telling us to listen to fake news. It ain't gonna be 1984 no more. Better get your memes ready. We're already at war. Said we don't need any more illegal immigration. So fuck you and your unlawful gun confiscations. How you gonna go and call all the white people racist when our fathers gave the world all this modern innovations? This ain't your nanny state regulated education. So fuck you.